why the alleged plot to law GEJ could be the APC's biggest mistake ahead of a 2023 election. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get more hot juicy updates from us. To get, be, be the first to be notified where we drop more hot juicy news. Please click on the notification bell button. It is no longer a secret that for a while now there have been rumors about an alleged plot by some members within the All Progressives Congress (APC) to lure the former president, good luck at Bella Jonathan, GEJ, to the party and possibly make him the party's flag bearer for the 2023 presidential election. Of course, it is no longer news at all. It's no longer a secret, and me, I think it would be a very, very huge mistake. If they do this, ah, that means that whatever is left of the unity of Nigeria, it's not going to be funny. It is better imagined, though. It is not everyone that will keep quiet on it, though, sincerely. The news in detail, please stay with us. Recently, the debate between the North and the South and regions over where the next president of Nigeria should come from has seen reports begin to make round that GEJ could be on its way to the All Progressive Congress APC and probably match as the party's 2023 presidential candidate to please the Southerners who are insisting on being the region to produce the next country's to produce the country's next president. Aside from the need to address the agitation for a Southern presidency in 2023, it is also believed that the choice of JEG GEJ is due to the fact that he is only eligible for a single term, which would allow the North to once again take over the presidency only after four years in the South. However, I am of the view that the alleged plot to lure the former president to the APC and field him in 2023 could be the party's biggest mistake ahead of the election. It should be recalled that prior to GEJ's defeat in 2015, the APC as a political party came up with lots of propaganda against him. The party also called the former president all manner of names and accused him of sinking the country's economy. The APC also accused the former president of doing enough, of not doing enough to address the issue of corruption under his watchful eyes, as well as ending the insecurity in the northeast region of Nigeria. Arguably, these factors contributed to GEJ's defeat in 2015. As such, the All Progressive Congress APC would undoubtedly struggle to market the former president to Nigerians again. This is because many people will be asking to know if the same person that the party is called or sort of names has suddenly become a saint. You will agree with me that this statement, which the APC cost against GEJ and the People's Democratic Party PDP in 2015 could be used against them in 2023. At the same time, the party's performance since it took over from the PDP in 2015 could make it difficult for them to convince the public to support them. There, there are also chances that many people who had high hopes in the APC are likely to feel disappointed if the party should resort to fielding the same candidate the public is constigated for poor performances. As such, fielding GEJ in 2023 could be a grievous mistake on the part of all progressives ahead of the 2023 elections. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.